Hello, today I'm taking a look at Triplo. This is part of the AppSumo Black Friday deal drop. It's an app you install on your computer and I'm going to activate it by pressing control space. So this is the little interface that pops up. Before I dig into that, let me just head over to the settings. So you can see you get a license. And so each license gives you a certain number of devices. I've been given tier one by AppSumo to test this out. That allows me to place it on one device, my computer. But if I had tier two, three, four, I could place it on multiple computers and also mobile phones. You can see it does desktop or mobile. So I'm just testing this out on my desktop. So we've got the features down the side. Each tier gets you a different set of tokens. So those tokens are what pays for the AI each month. You can have smart prompts. You can do some AI training, which I can't show you because I've got zero and I can't show you automations because I'm tier one. Desktop or mobile, there's 15 LLM supported. There's the Anthropic integration, web and YouTube scraping. You know, you've got all this good stuff as well, including bring your own API keys. And this is the settings panel. You can see we can enter an open AI key. You can use open router, which is lots of different AI models just in one place. So you just play one person rather than having to pay OpenAI and Anthropic, and you can enter the Anthropic key as well. Now, what I found quite interesting is up here, it says local LLM settings. Now, I can't access that because tier one doesn't get access to it. I believe it is tier three upwards, but it's not yet on the preview sheet for me because this is a beta feature. It's a new feature. So I'm hoping when this comes out, it'll be clear which tier will unlock that and allow you to use something that you're running locally rather than having to pay OpenAI, OpenRouter, Anthropic. So you can customize the hotkey. I'm just using control space, which was the default, but you can customize that to something else. You've got a color scheme and then you can see all the features you can turn on and off. And this will automatically start when Windows starts. I'm on Windows. I think you can turn that off. Yeah, run at startup. You can turn that off if you prefer. So what it actually does is give you access to AI models just on your desktop. So this is the little bar. This is like the chat window that you get on something like ChatGPT. And then these are the AI models I've got access to. You see there's quite a decent number of them. And down here, we can see I have used so far 5,883 tokens of 2 million. So we've got quite a lot to go. And you simply enter your prompt. So the first thing you need to do is think about which one you want to use. So I've just got it set to 40 mini. And then when you start typing, the first thing you'll notice is there are commands that pop up. So these will give you an idea of what you can do. So you can see we've got um, from the clipboard, it's got a YouTube video that I've copied. We can scrape a web page, HTML. So all these different things. And so if you wanted to do like this, act as a social media influencer, you'd simply click it, click it, act as a social media influencer. And let's get this URL. Let's try something. Act as a social media influencer. Create a series of promotional posts about this product. So at this point, it's going to go away. It's going to take a look at the website. So it's, I, all I've given it is the AppSumo URL. And you can see it's gone away. It's scraped that information. It understands it's about Triplo. And it's coming up with Instagram posts, post two as a story. We've got Twitter posts. We've got a YouTube video script. I should have done this first, really, shouldn't I? And then you can copy this. And then you can always paste it into Word, Excel, uh, maybe a, a teleprompter if it's a script. Whatever you need to do, you can just copy that. Now, if you have prompts that you're going to be using a lot, you can save them here. So the commands, the description, the prompt. So you can have a, a prompt library effectively. And you don't need to use those pre-built prompts at all. You can just chat away. So you could say, give me an outline. So in this case, I'm asking it for a an outline about Triplo. So blog out outline. So it's giving me a blog outline that I could then use. Again, I can just copy that, paste that here. So this is the outline. It's in Word. And you might be thinking, well, this is going to be a pain to use AI to help me write the rest of the content. I'm going to have to go back and forth. Well, there's actually a little shortcut that you can use. I can then type three O's and then give it a command. So this is a terrible command. Write this section, make it at least 
four paragraphs. Now I'm going to highlight it. Now listen, there's going to be a little pop when I press Control C to copy. That tells me the AI has understood it's got a command. And then when it's done, there's a second pop. I'm not sure if you heard that. I don't know if it got picked up. And there we go. I simply paste using Control V and it has written the section for me. And I could just go through the document to do that. So I'm using this just in Word as a demo, but imagine this was in Outlook. I've written an email that says, hi, no, I can't do that right now. Ask later. And the command is just going to be make this a friendly email. I'm going to copy. There's the second pop. Paste that. And there we have it. Subject, hi, recipient name. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for understanding. Best. So that's a lot, that's a lot nicer. So that's just one of the ways you can use this. And I would highly recommend when you open up the app, there's the how to use button. If you press that, that'll bring you over to the documentation. It's very good. It shows you how to do all the things like the hotkeys, very well documented. You've got ask questions, smart prompts, custom smart prompts, the scraping that I showed you earlier when it scraped the web page. And I think it can also scrape YouTube videos, how to use files, images, the automations, which I can't show you because at tier one, there aren't any. You have to go up to tier three to get 100 automations. It suddenly jumps from naught to 100. There's also a YouTube channel that they've got, and I found that very helpful to watch the demo and how it works and everything. So if you like the look at this and want to check out this full deal page, I'll put an affiliate link down below. I hope you found this quick video useful. Thanks for watching.